Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really cool Lightroom for an advertisement. And uh, yeah, so they look pretty cool. You can use this for any color. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first off, what you want to do is you can go to File, New, and then our dimensions for this one is going to be 1920 by 1080. It doesn't really matter that much, but it should be around this size. But then obviously you might want a different aspect ratio, but then yeah. Uh, but for our advertisement, we're going to be using 1920 by 1080 pixels. And just press OK. And um, so... Once we've got this, we're just going to go to our foreground colour, and this is where we're going to pick the, the main colour of our um, of our design. So you can see our main colour here is a blue, and we're just going to do the same. So um, we're just going to find a nice blue, it doesn't really matter too much because we can change it later on if we need to. But um, yeah, so I think this blue will be kind of nice. So now all we need to do is press uh, Alt on our keyboard and then Backspace, and then that will use our foreground colour. Um, and just fill the layer that we're on. And if you want to change the color of the uh, of the blue, just press Alt. I mean, uh, Command U, and then you can just change it using this. So I might want it to make it a bit more blue. Uh, okay, so that's good. So now we've done that, we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to make our horizon line. Our horizon line is this line here, which kind of signifies the corner of the room. And uh, yeah, so to do that, all you need to do is um, make sure you're on a new layer that you just created. Press P on your keyboard, and then you will open the. You start using the pen tool, and just make a small rectangle down the bottom, just like this. Just go all the way around, and then uh, so once we've done that, we're just going to change our foreground color to white, just by pressing the arrows. And uh, now we've done that, we can press B on our keyboard to get the brush tool, and then we can just make the brush a bit bigger, just like that. Just by using our square bracket keys, we can use that as a shortcut. Now, if we right click and press uh, if we right click we can now change the size of a brush here and uh, we can select which brush we want to use we're going to be using this default brush right here it sh everyone should have this and uh, yeah it's right there so you can just use it for yourself and you can just mess around with the um, with the brush size so now we've done that we're going to go back to our pen tool we're going to right click go to make selection and this should be zero and you just copy that down it should just be the same anyway just press ok now you can see that we've got a selection here now we can press B on our keyboard again to get our brush up, make it a bit bigger I think, and just, actually I might make it a bit bigger. If you want to undo, just press uh, Command Z, and then make our, use our square bracket keys to make it even bigger. Um, okay, maybe click a bit, okay there we go. So now we've done that, we can press Command D, and so now you can see that we've got our, our horizon line. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Command, oh no not Command, uh, we're going to go to our blending option up here, and, and click on Overlay. And now you can see it kind of just changes it to a more, bit more of a blue, and uh, yeah, that looks kind of cool. If you want, you can also use the eraser tool, which is over here, and you can just erase the corners. You don't have to do this, but sometimes it can look kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so now we've got our horizon line. We can just lower the opacity a bit. Uh, you don't have to, uh, but you can match whatever way you want it. And uh, yeah, okay, I think that I think that looks cool. So now we've done that. We got our, our horizon line. Now we need a light source. So to do that, we're going to make a new layer, just like that. We're going to use the same brush, so make sure it's this, still the same default brush right here. And um, I think we're just going to make it a bit smaller. Okay, and I think that's good. Now you just want to click at the top of the page, or I think the top of the document. And now we're going to set this, well we can either set this to overlay as well, just like that. Or we could just lower the opacity, just by doing that. But I think I'm just going to set it to overlay instead and just keep it at 100% opacity. Okay, so now we've got a light source and we've got our horizon line. Now we're going to start adding some shadows and some more lighting. So to do that, we're going to make a new layer. Just like that, just by clicking the icon in the bottom right. And then now we're going to change our foreground color to black. And now we're going to go back to our brush tool, make it a bit smaller. And now we just want to click a few times around the outside. And uh, you don't want to change this to overlay because if you change it to overlay, it'll bring out this really dodgy color. So you can see it's like a really dark, ugly blue. So we're just going to keep this on normal and then we'll just lower the opacity. And uh, yeah, it just adds a bit of depth and looks kind of cool as well. And uh, you can add some more if you wanted. You can use your eraser tool to erase some if you wanted as well. And um, yes, okay. I think that looks good. We've got these dark lines around the outside. We're going to make a new layer now. Make sure this is below the layer we just made. So you just want to drag it down just like that. And we're going to change this to a white. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to use our square bracket keys just to make our, our brush a bit smaller. And then we're just going to use our brush tool. And 
just make some more lightings just around the outside and this works really well with the dark that we just added with the shadows we just added if you need to change that to overlay and then lower the opacity or again you can just lower the opacity without changing it to overlay and uh, yeah so now we've got a really cool lightroom and now we can actually start implementing our products and uh, we will still be doing a bit more on the lightroom a bit later on so yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our product and we i just got this picture of a scuff controller from google all i typed in was a uh, scuff 4ps so yeah so now what you want to do is um you want to hold alt and shift and then you want to drag in the corner and then you can see that we we can make it smaller by by the center if we just hold it alt, i mean if we just hold it uh, uh yeah sorry if we did just hold alt and you can see that it loses its aspect ratio but we want to keep it the same so we must hold shift and uh, okay so now we've got the right size actually might make it a bit smaller okay that's good now we want to make sure it's centered so to do that we want to go to our bottom layer if it is locked you just want to double click on it and then uh, the pop-up menu will come up here and just press ok uh, but it might not be locked like mine isn't and now what you want to do is you want to press command T and now you can see that we can change the size of our background layer and we're not going to change the size we just want to use this so we can find out where the middle is as you can see we've got this icon in the middle so now what we're going to do is we're going to have our rulers out if you don't have your rulers around the outside uh, just press command R and then there you go you can you can hide them and show them and it's going to drag out and there we go you can just drag it in and there we go we got a ruler there and now we can just make sure that our product is then centered and now we can make it a bit smaller okay so there we go we got our product in we've made it centered and now we need to add shadows to the product and uh, yeah so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go to our circle tool over here just because this is the only shadows there are going to be is on the handles so it's going to click and drag just so it covers the whole area now we've got this pop-up window up here and now we can use this box right here to change the color to a black because the shadow will be black obviously and um, yes yeah, so now we've got this uh, ellipse here what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter blur gaussian blur and we'll have this menu here just press rasterize and then we'll get this window pop up here as well and then we can just find however much we want to blur it. Uh, I think 16.2 will be good for this one. And now once we've done that, we're just going to change the opacity down. And I think 42 will be good. And now we can just hold Alt and click and move across. And then that duplicates it. And now we have it on both on both handles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some lighting effect to the controller. As you can see, the lighting is coming from the top. So we want it to be lighter on the top than it is on the bottom. It is already kind of that way already, but we just want to emphasize that even more. So to do that, we want to click on our controller, make a new layer, just so the layer just comes up above the controller, and then hold Alt and click on the bottom of the layer so it makes a clipping mask. Or you could just right click and then press clipping mask right there. And uh, so now everything we do on this layer will only go on the layer below it and so yeah so we could just do all kinds of brushes and it'll only go on that layer below so what we're going to do is we're going to click up here with our white brush and then you can see that we got we've added a light effect to the controller i might click up a bit further though okay now what we can do is we can set that to overlay or we can just keep it the way it is as you can see um if you just set it to overlay it adds a subtle effect and it might be a bit more realistic that way but um yeah this might be a bit too strong but if it is this too strong you can just lower the opacity they kind of make the same effect but I'm just going to set it to overlay okay and now if we wanted to we could just move it down as well just to get a bit more of that effect okay so now we're going to make a new layer and make it make sure it's a clipping mask and then we're just going to change the foreground color to a black <clears throat> so now it's a black we can just go to our brush tool again and just click in the areas that would be dark and there we go we can leave that the way it is if we wanted to or we can just set it to overlay and there we go we have this our lighting effect set up for our controller so now what we can do is as you can see on this one i have this texture in the background and for this tutorial well i mean for this textures i'm going to be using my texture pack i'll leave a link to the texture pack in the description and you can pick any one pretty much they all work pretty well but i'd probably recommend the the ones that have the lights label and uh, yeah so you're just going to click drag that in just like that and then you want it to meet at the horizon line because this is going to be the texture for the back wall and uh, yes yeah, so now you can just drag this down just like that to the bottom 
on the layers and now we can set this to either luminosity and then lower the opacity down or we can just set it to overlay and then we can increase this a bit okay I think uh, opacity I mean uh, setting it to overlay works better and now what we can do is we can either leave it the way it is or we can just go to filter blur and gaussian blur and then we can just blur it a bit just to add a bit more I don't know it just kind of adds a nice effect to the background okay so now we're going to add a texture to the bottom floor so to do that we're going to be using the same texture so just click and drag on and then again you want it to meet at the, of the, at the horizon line but at the bottom this time just like that okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit transform and the perspective and just zoom out a little bit and now we can just click and drag the bottom and this is basically where you get the texture for the floor and okay I think that's enough so just press enter on your keyboard and then we can set this to overlay as well just like that and then we're going to lower the opacity and then to get the same blur effect that we added onto the first grunge all you need to do is press command F and then we'll have this blur come up and just press OK and then we can lower the opacity even more and there we go you can see that we have this really cool uh, texture effect on the wall and on the floor and okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our color correction so first off we're going to click on the top layer just so that the color correction goes on to all of the layers and first off we're going to add a brightness and contrast so just increase the brightness a bit and then increase the contrast as well actually we might decrease the brightness um, what should we go for okay okay I think it looks good and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to exposure and we're going to increase the gamma correction and then increase the exposure there as well and yeah I think this looks pretty cool so now what we can do is we can add our text so we can just add scuff 4ps just because that's the name of the product hold command and you can drag out the text just like that we can change it to a nice blue to match the, the background if we wanted to so just select all of your text and then just change it to a blue or we can just keep it to a black and then set the blending option to overlay and then it will just have the same uh, colors as the background and yeah that looks pretty cool as well so that's pretty much how you do this Lightroom tutorial thank you guys for watching and if you did find it useful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video